Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit seismicity as we took another big earthquake. We'll discuss lightning, the new ionosphere model and what it means, and we'll look at a sneaky nova that went undetected for a long time. But we've got space weather as well, so let's start with our star. Filament released to kick off the day on the south, the central coronal hole turning through, brightness incoming indicative of more sunspot active regions on the way in. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions calmed at Earth following the solar storm, so our focus becomes what to expect next, and we begin with that filament release on the south. This eruption was small to moderate. The plasma has mostly released to the south, and we can confirm that on SOHO coronagraphs here. Both they and the Enlil spiral indicate that the northernmost edge of the eruption may give Earth a glancing blow. But before that happens, we'll be taking the coronal hole stream. It is expected to arrive tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. Should be fairly solid. Geomagnetic storms should indeed be expected from it. Then we'll be watching for the minor CME impact from the filament release, and by that time, these active regions should be nearly facing Earth. Very bright one incoming on the north there. Moderate one coming in as well south of the Earth scale should be a bit more space weather to end the week. Two days, two seven magnitude earthquakes. This one struck Indonesia on the coast of the Indian Ocean. Moderate damage to structures was sustained, including to a hospital. If anyone caught the New York City lightning storm, you know that one of the spectacular strikes was an upward bolt. Not only is lightning overall on the increase, but these upward bolts are as well, and they are considered much more dangerous. Veteran observers recall these discussions from the last couple years, and yes, it is continuing. A new ionosphere model is out, and in addition to helping with high-frequency radio communications, it will help us understand space weather events to a greater degree. It will also further the studies on how Earth's ongoing magnetic pole shift is impacting the top of the sky golf clap for the team. Last but not least, this UV bubble was recently discovered and they say there are likely a ton more like them we just haven't found yet. Given the fact that the bubble shines in UV and is filled with dust, it is likely actually a nova remnant, nodding to the idea that the smaller nova events are more common than scientists believe, even though they have already acknowledged they're more common than they had previously believed. I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. We greatly appreciate your support. Lots of important links below the video. Be sure to subscribe to our e-magazine or check out our store. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.